Hey guys, Lauren here. Uh, today's Ask Me question comes from a conversation that I recently had with a fellow hair sister about product buildup on um, namely synthetic hair. So we got to talking and she wears wigs full time and she was noticing um, that she had some makeup buildup around the, um, the, the cap of her wigs that she wears. So I was talking with her um, about how to remove some of that and it got me to really start thinking about the fact that I have had a lot of questions in the past about styling products for synthetic hair and why you may need those over just like a normal hairspray for instance um, that you might use on your bio hair. So what I recommended to her is to take, um, so if you have a bunch of like, if you've been using a regular hairspray on your synthetic hair and I am guilty because I used to do this back in the day as well, you might notice if you look really closely at the hair that it looks like there's a bunch of white, so I used to spray right here, so that's why I'm kind of like pawing at that area right now, but you'll, you'll notice that there's a bunch of white specks. It looks like a dull, um, speckly film on top of your synthetic hair. Um, so what I recommended to her to actually remove some of that makeup, you can do this exact same technique with hairspray um, or product buildup on your synthetic hair. So what you're gonna do is take um, just a little bit of baking soda and add some water and create a little bit of a paste. Now you don't wanna run this throughout the whole you know, head of hair, you're not soaking um, your piece in it, but just kind of take it where you have that buildup, for me that was right over here, and kind of you know, run it through and just rinse it with water. So that small little um, grittiness, which at the same time, as you know, baking soda is very gentle. Um, and also going back to your chemistry days, you know, it's not acidic, it's very basic that should help to remove any of that product buildup very gently. But going forward, um, if you need styling products on your synthetic hair, I wanna recommend two. And you need products specifically formulated for synthetic hair because you are being really gentle with these pieces, at least I hope you are. Um, so it's really hard when you're using products that are made for your own natural hair to get that out when you're washing it, you know, because you're not standing under a hot shower and agitating your scalp. You're being really gentle with these pieces because you've invested money into them. So you wanna use products that are formulated for synthetic hair. So two I wanna talk about today. The first is um, a hairspray. So this is John Renault's holding spray. This is specifically for synthetic hair. So I'm not gonna demonstrate exactly how it works because this style doesn't need it, but really just a little bit is all you, a little bit is all you need. You spray it on just like a normal hairspray. And the beauty of this is that when you're done for the day, it combs right out, it doesn't build up, and anything that's left on the hair washes away super easily. So you're not gonna have that gross, speckly white film build up on your gorgeous hair. Because trust me, after using regular hairspray on, on that hair a couple times, you will notice it, and you will need to remove it to keep your piece looking nice. So highly recommend the holding spray um, by John Renault, specifically for synthetic hair. Now I will show you this other product, which is really cool. So this is the Peace Out Contour Fiber Cream, also by John Renault. So I'm gonna take my ring off to show you. What you do is you take just a little bit. Okay, a little bit goes a long way. You don't wanna use a ton because if you do, just like any product, it can get sticky, okay? Take a little bit, you're just gonna rub it um, through your hands to kind of, uh, kind of spread it around, heat it up a little bit, and then it smells really good. You can run this through your hair. Now this works really well with PC styles, with waves, um, with shorter styles, which is everything that this piece is not. But I like to use this because over time, this piece starts to look a little bit flat up here due to all the brushing. So this piece is probably, this is my um, Top Secret by John Renault. The color is 10H16. This is about six months old. So it's starting to get a little bit flat on top. So this helps to like kind of just bring a little bit of texture and pieciness to this top layer. And it smells good. And just like with the spray, um, it washes right out when I, when I wash this piece. So this is a really great product to have and it's a must have if you're rocking any layered styles, if you've got curls, if you have um, shorter hair, or if you have a style that the ends are flippy and you just kind of want to define them, this is an awesome product and it smells really good. So 
I hope that makes sense. So some of the reasons that you want to use, I mean, the big reason why you want to use product that is specifically formulated for synthetic hair is because it is made to wash out. So if you're using products that aren't made to wash out, you're going to get that buildup. Um, you're going to get that coated feeling. It's going to start to look dull and it's really going to shorten um, the lifespan of that piece and you paid good money for it. So you want it to last as long as possible. Okay, I hope that makes sense. I hope that helps. Any questions, let me know. And if you have a question that you've been dying to ask, please let me know that as well. You can either type it below or shoot me a message on the blog and I will feature it in an upcoming Ask Me session. Okay, if you haven't already, please subscribe so that you get a notification when a new video comes out. And if you found this video helpful, please consider liking it. All right, have a good one. Bye.